Hi, this is Pest Fan Pat. Um, just responding to your um, video on evidence that God does not exist. In particular, you spoke about the book of Genesis and the creation account, how, how the um, order of creation uh, in, in the book of Genesis does, uh, doesn't um, make sense in light of modern uh, science. And uh, you mentioned that uh, there could not have been water before life. Um, I agree. Um, I think you need light as the first basic requirement that you need. Um, but I also don't think that the Genesis account tells us that. And I think that uh, most of this is just a misunderstanding of what the book of Genesis is telling us. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I think it means. If you go into, I'll just bring it up, if you go into um, chapter 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Chapter 2, now the earth was, a formless, was formless and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. So this is talking about a time during the formation of the earth. It was not ready for habitation, and it was um, still in a, a primitive stage. Um, it may have been... Um, a uh, huge amount of volcanic activity at that stage and uh, we know that uh, volcanic activity produces about 60% or 60% of its of the gases emitted from volcanoes is water vapour. So it could well be that there was a time when, um, when the earth was covered in a thick um, gas cloud um, that prevented light from the sun which already existed to penetrate the earth's atmosphere. In fact in the book of Job it talks about um, the earth being covered in a swaddling band or a thick gloom at, at the time at the before um, um, man was created. So um, we notice in verse 3 it says and God said let there be light and there was light. So verse 3 is that talking about the sun being then created? Is that, are we saying that the sun was created in verse 3? Or could it mean something else? If you scroll all the way down uh, past the creation of uh, separation of the waters and, and the creation of dry land and um, the creation of vegetation, etc., you get to verse 14 and it says, And God said, Let there be light in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night. Or Not light, but lights. Um, as in the sun and the moon. So, if if the sun and the moon were created in verse 14, what was the light spoken of in verse 3? Was it some kind of um, magical um, light source without any well, light without any source? Or are we all a little misguided here? Maybe it means something else entirely. We're going back to that. Um, scenario of, a, of an early earth covered in um, a thick gloomy atmosphere, it could have been that at some stage enough of the uh, atmosphere had thinned so as to allow some light to penetrate the earth's atmosphere from the sun. And that would have um, cleared the way for photosynthesis to occur and because later on we get in verse, uh, verse 11, uh, vegetation was created etc. So, so far so good. Down in verse 14, let lights come to be in the expanse of the sky. And it says, to put it in context, um, uh, what does it say here? To separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark as seasons and days and years. Um, it's clearly talking about the earth, uh, the moon and the sun. Um, it talks about a greater and a lesser light and that's exactly what the, the moon and the sun is. So could it be that by that time, all the way down to verse 14, the atmosphere had thinned further enough so as to allow the moon and the sun to become visible um, spheres in the sky. Now that makes uh, very good sense. So if you think about, um, you try to look at um, the sun through a thick cloud if it's too thick, all you're going to get is a, is a dull light. You're not going to get a, a, clear, um, a clear shape. 
but as it as it gets thinner, then you will get to see a clear shape, and uh, that makes pretty good sense um, scientifically, because now what you have is you have a universe or you have a, a planet that was created uh, when light already existed. Um, you see, just because it says the Earth was uh, covered in darkness does not mean there was not light in the rest of the universe. Does not mean that there wasn't a sun. It just means that the the Earth could not um, receive any of that light at that stage. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that you may not have heard that argument before. I, I sort of thought that, be, um, judging from your explanation. So let me know what you think, mate. And um, yeah, I enjoyed your video.